Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from McFarlane Toys, we are featuring in the DC Multiverse, Batman. This is Batman as he appears in Detective Comics issue 1000. So this uh, is actually one of the earlier releases in McFarlane's DC Multiverse line. Uh, this figure came out back in 2020. Um, it belonged, I think, part of me wanted to say, uh, within the first maybe two or three waves I think it's been such a long time I just remember always seeing this at Target and just passing up on it um, for me it was such a huge disappointment um, you know McFarlane was just starting off with the multiverse stuff and I'm not a big uh, person when it comes to scale you know I, I kind of care less if stuff doesn't scale accurately and I know that was one of the, the big gripes that people had about the line initially. But for me, it was kind of more so for this figure was the sculpting. I felt that this figure was, it felt very, very off. I did, I very, I hated the ab cut. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, aesthetically, it's, this figure felt like a mess. And, um, you know, it's, it's all right. But, you know, if you fast forward to the figures we're getting now, two years later, it's like, McFarlane's on a completely different level so you know maybe it was unfair of me to like judge this figure when I first came out and but you know for the most part you know I purchased stuff because it looks cool you know when I first saw this you know even though it's Batman and I buy all things Batman um this was kind of an easy pass so why are we looking at this now well we're looking at this now because I've kind of had a slight change of heart um I came across this at one of my local toy stores and you know, I thought it'd be fun just to pick this up and, you know, just give it a, you know, give it a look, you know. Um, you know, I bought this, the price I paid for it was pretty much the same as it was retail two years ago. So, we're going to take a look at this guy. Um, right off the bat, he comes with a batarang, as we see here. He comes with his grapple gun, and it kind of has that effect where it looks like it's already shooting out the, um, the grapple hook and the line. On the back, uh, this is really indicative of the early releases of the McFarlane Multiverse stuff. We have the actual comic book artwork. Um, and here are some of the other figures that were released during this time period. There was the Nightwing. And I think that was part of the um, Build the Batmobile wave. Uh, there was that. There was the Batman Who Laughs. And then I uh, think Batgirl. And if you got all three of those figures, you'd be able to construct like a very small version of the Batmobile. Uh, there's the Batman in the Hellbat suit. There's animated Green Lantern. There's the Batman who laughs. And then there was Harley Quinn. And I think this was the animated um, version of Harley Quinn. Alright, so let's take out good old Batman. Alright, much like other figures, uh, display base and trading card. Um, uh, so there's the Batarang and then there's his grapple gun. Uh, um, I might just leave those accessories in the, in the tray. I'm more concerned about the figure. Uh, my first impressions of the figure as I'm looking at it right now, um, uh, out of the box the colors um, are, are pretty nice. I, I do like the color scheme. It's the Batman with the with the gray bodysuit, uh, the gold belt, and then the, the very, very dark, almost grayish uh, um, body armor. You know, like with the cowl and the cape and the gloves and the boots. Alright, so I'm hoping my opinion will change once I start handling the figure. And we'll see about that. Um, I'm a big 
I'm really big on like making sure that you know for one one thing I'm kind of a, a stickler for is the figures proportions you know I like to have you know the proportions this has to be just to write you know I'm very big on like having the characters um, silhouette look perfect and I think this one does a pretty good job of capturing you know that version of Batman specifically if they're aiming for the Jim Lee Batman like we saw on the back of the box with the cover art if they're going for that I think they're doing a decent job especially with the head Jim Lee's Batman head is very almost like squarish like this one is here uh, Jim Lee also tends to draw Batman with shorter horns like we see on top um, the proportions of the figure it's very much like in line with how Jim Lee sizes up his uh, his superheroes in terms of the proportions of like the head compared to the chest to the rest of the body so the scale there works well uh, much like people pointed out years ago you know the ab cut here is this horrendous I, I really dislike how um, the break in the torso is you know very jagged and marred like that you know there's no reason why um, they couldn't cut the the ab cut so it goes like this much like you know other action figures do you know they felt the, the need to like cut it like almost like on a zigzag underneath uh, the top abdomen muscles which looks really really strange one thing that kind of bothers me also is I kind of feel like the bat emblem on his chest it's a little too big and it's placed a little too low on his body um, for the most part Batman's emblem should always kind of be placed higher up on his chest it shouldn't cut down below his chest like the tail like the tail piece does right here uh, the utility belts really well done I like that a lot um, the choice of paint though is kind of questionable to me I think they could have done with a better paint because this one looks very um, uh, let's get this into focus it looks very chalky um, if that's the right word for it you know it doesn't really necessarily bring out the details and edges all that well it just looks very chalky if that makes any sense it's a very it looks very pigmented if you're familiar with paints um, one thing that kind of bothers me with this figure too is that it can't really make up its mind when I look at it aesthetically it feels like it doesn't know if it's supposed to be an animated slash comic book f figure um, or a realistic one because when you look at it the, especially the head it looks very comic book almost anime like but then when you get to the body details especially um, on the side it's a very realistic micro texture so it seems like there's, al there's almost like at least for me there's almost like a conflict in the way the, the figures presented I almost kind of feel like you know if you're gonna go this full comic book route and make him look like he, as he does in the comic book they should have just lost this texture altogether you know they should have just left it bare and smooth because for me it feels like it's a conflict in terms of like you know I want this to look really cool and hyper realistic but at the same time with the way the face is designed and then the lack of wrinkles and folds up here it feels very streamlined and almost comic book like which makes sense because you know this does this is attempting to portray Batman as he appears in the comic book uh, the cape is well done um, for the most part I'm not too keen on capes that kind of wave around too much um, I really do prefer a cape that's neutral that kind of just flows directly straight downward uh, but this one you know it's nice I do appreciate you know the, the curvature to it and how it looks like it's flowing around you know it makes the figure look a little bit more dramatic yeah I think I'm warming up this figure a little I think in hand it it presents itself a lot better than in the package I think the pose in the package made the figure look a little bit too lanky and w once you see it in hand you know it is his um, his musculature kind of comes out more you know he's a little bit broader at the shoulders like he should be uh, his neck isn't too long um, and it's just a it's a very solid you know iconic Batman it's not over embellished you know much like the Arkham Knight Batman figures uh, which I, I think are great like the Arkham 
Arkham Knight Batman is my favorite from the McFarlane lot. I think that's like one of the best uh, Batman figures. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming uh, re-release um, of Arkham City Batman. You know, that one looks cool because I think that one has a new head sculpt. The first head sculpt looked horrible. Uh, if you're into like this the iconic Batman, uh, a great alternative to this one, especially if you're a fan of Jim Lee, is the Batman vs. Hush 2-pack. The Batman that comes in that is excellent. You know, my, I think the only quibble I had with that one was just the color scheme they had for Batman. You know, that one was black and gray. Whereas, technically, it should have been um, blue and gray, much like this one. You know, this very dark blue. But yeah, this this figure, it's, it's kind of grown on me. This still bothers me right here. But for the most part, you know, as a, as a display piece, I think it's fantastic. All right, and so enough about that. Let's talk about the articulation. Uh, Batman's head rotates left and right. Does he look down? He looks down. Does he look up? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Um, looking at him from a profile, I think his head looks a little small. But I don't know. That's forgivable. It's not that, that much of a deal breaker. Um, his arms rotate, but then they hit the top of his cape. And then they go out. Um, just give me a moment for a second. Um, uh, his arms go out. Uh, there's a bicep cut so it can swivel at the bicep. Uh, double pinned elbows. And then he has his wrist articulation now this is a problem like with a lot of mcfarland figures especially the earlier ones they kind of have that like um exposed ball joint it kind of reminds me of some like some of the imported action figures like the old revel tech figures and i think i think some of the amazing yamaguchi figures are kind of similar to this also where you know the articulation even though it's cool that it's there it's just very exposed you know for me i, I, I wish they would kind of do their best to try to cover that ball joint because it just looks like a tennis ball and it kind of annoys me um uh, there's that horrible ab cut right there <clears throat> excuse me i'm kind of losing my voice um uh, there's articulated waist movement you could kick up you could kick out um as you can see the standard mechanism for the leg articulation double pinned knees and then ankle articulation and uh, toe articulation. Um, you could get them in some poses, but I think the cape up here kind of hurts it just a little bit. Kind of gets in the way. But it's a very, very posable figure. You know, you can get him in some really nice poses. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like torn. You know, I think initially I wanted to hate this figure, but the more I'm handling it, I can look past its shortcomings and, you know, kind of forgive it. Because I think it's a really nice piece. Um, if this is something you passed up on two years ago, and if you can find it for a decent price, I think it's, it's worth it. It's not at the same level as some of the figures we're getting nowadays, you know, two years later, but... Um, it's a nice, you know, it's overall nice, iconic Batman. You thought, I think the iconic Batmans, um, you know, we've gotten some really decent ones. Like the three Jokers Batman is almost perfect. I love the one that, I love how that one looks a lot. Uh, the, the Batman in the Hush 2 pack is very awesome. And I think this one's pretty decent as well. So yeah, I think it's, it's all right. If I had to rate this guy numerically on a scale of one to 10, uh, seven and a half to an eight. That's where I kind of stand. You know, it's it hasn't aged well, but it's held up, if that makes any sense. So I could look past some of its shortcomings. Um, and I think in hand, you know, I think it's a much better figure than, you know, as it appears in the box. In the box, it's displayed poorly and it, and it has a very stagnant pose. But then once you handle the figure, it really starts to shine. You know, the proportions are well done. I love the cape. You know, it just, it's just unfortunate that the ab cut here kind of mars the figure. And, you know, other than that, it's pretty cool. 
All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.